Muay Thai Strategic is a video series all about the tactical application of Muay Thai for both combat sport and self-defense. In this series, we will focus on both the technical hows and the tactical whys of fighting. These are the foundations of Muay Thai that can be made combat ready through drilling, pressure testing, and eventually application in live training. What's up everybody? This is Ajahn Buck Grant. I am here in beautiful Toronto, and we're gonna go over three simple but effective traps that you can use in Muay Thai in order to set up the elbow. So the first one is off of someone turtling up off of an elbow strike. So as I go to throw the elbow here, and they give me this frame, this structure, and I'm gonna use my same arm that I'm elbowing with to unfold. I'm gonna cut all fingers out, so false grip. And as I pull from here, boom, that's gonna be the elbow strike from that position. And I can do that from any side. I can left elbow here, and when I get that structure. And basically when I get that structure, if he, if he moves, if he lose that way, then I get the elbow, right? Or if he just turns his body, boom, I still get that elbow. What you'll often see is people kind of leaning into it a little bit, boom. And that gives me the energy from here to open and then elbow on that side. And remember, I don't need a whole lot of space here. If I can pull that a little bit, I'm gonna get that shot either to the jaw, to the temple, to the back of the ear, to the bridge of the nose, to the eyebrow for the cut, pretty much anything in here that I hit with my elbow, I'm gonna destroy. So again, I elbow, bong, and I open up, bong, and hit on that side, right side, hit, I fold open, bong, and hit on there too. Same thing gonna apply from the clinch position, and this is really where a lot of trapping is typical in Muay Thai. We're already tied up, we're using the knee strike to hit, and generally you'll see ties that will cup over top of this bicep, because I'm, I'm concerned about getting elbow too. You know, you'll see sometimes if people wrestle, you might see them cupping here, but this elbow is free to hit, right? You can, any given time you can hit me, so I wanna monitor that. That also gives me a vantage point to be able to elbow. So I'm going to kind of gooseneck it here by the middle of his forearm, and from this position, I'm gonna drop my weight, I'm gonna pull this down to my bicep, and then from that position, that's a short elbow. So I'm just going to basically crunch my core and then turn my body, short elbow from that position. So again, a clear, Drop my weight, bang, and I hit it. So this keeps, me, keeps him from being able to block it because I have this obstructed here. I'll hold on to it for a split second. Don't need to hold on it for very long. And then I can either go here or I can go across the shoulder and get that same elbow. <clears throat> and then finally, I can use this as a swimming tool. So I'm gonna swim in. I swim in with my shoulder. First elbow strike is here up. I'm gonna trap over top. I drop my weight and then bang, that's the next elbow. And I like to take this one up because his weight's already coming down. And so from here, I go across my shoulder, go right to the cheekbone or whatever I hit in the general structure here. So again, this one, I can't go over top. I swim under, first elbow, trap, second elbow, and I hit. Those are some of my favorite techniques. That can be used on the ground for ground fighting. It can be used for stand-up clinching. Very versatile tool. Um, these are tools that I've used myself. Give them a try, hope you like them. If you like what you saw, let's come to buckgrant.com, check us out, or come to Funker Martial Arts. Once again, thanks for coming.